Okay, well, I finished putting the gunnel track rails on this morning. That's one continuous eight foot piece from Extreme Max, which they no longer make, and that is the last one in the world from the manufacturer, from anybody in the United States. I could absolutely not find any more, and I actually got that one from a guy on eBay. So then, for the other side, because I couldn't find anything even close to the others, um, I went with, um, it's actually from the woodworking industry, but it's called, uh, it's made by PowerTech. And that way I can use the 5 16 um, T-bolts in the slide track, and they work great. You can see I've already got some of, some of the knobs in there. Still got to vacuum the, uh, the shavings out. And while I was making holes in the boat, I went ahead and put the uh, mount on for my front fish finder that I've got. It's just a, a little uh, Lowrance hook reveal 5. I've got a Lowrance HDS7 Live back at the main console. But I just want something for when I'm up there so I can see what's going on. And I wired it and got the cable all wrapped around the trolling motor cable and down to the transducer and all that. Hopefully that'll keep it out of the way. I've lifted it up and down quite a few times and nothing seems to be getting in the way. But that's the, uh, I had to get a mount for the uh, trolling motor to put it on there. That's a Minn Kota. I think it's an MKR-15 is the mount. And then I don't trust anything, so that's why it's got 320-pound zip ties on there. In addition to that band clamp that comes with it, but that's just me. I kind of overdo everything. But I'm getting ready for a Christmas trip. I'm going to Tanicomo, Missouri, which is down south from where I live. It's down by Branson. They got some pretty good size trout down there. So I'm going to go down and see if I can get hold of some. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for checking it out. Bye.